Hey everybody, this is John Phillips, continuing with the wonderful quality videos. I had the camera backwards, which is a nice feature that I provide. Anyways, it's uh, Saturday morning. I've got a job to do. I've, I've gotten two calls this morning for water heaters. Um, both of them are quoting prices from Home Depot. Well, I can buy it for this at Home Depot, whatever. Ha you know, be my guest, my friend. There's a big sign on the side of that water heater that says stop. You should take their advice and stop. Don't buy that heater. Uh, anyways, I hear there's a pretty bad storm coming today. Both of those people that called me about the water heater mentioned a storm, which I have no idea about. I don't watch the news anymore. I just can't carry the weight of the world and the dysfunction around with me. So I have no idea what the hell's coming. Uh, all I know is I hope there's some rain and some wind so it blows all this pollen and leaves and shit out of my trees, but not too much that it causes damage. So uh, I need to get my shit together and get out here. By 10 o'clock, I need to be at this house a little south of me, uh, 20 minutes or so, 15 minutes south of where I am. And uh, this guy's got a leak he thinks he's going to leak under the slab, which they're kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, I'm going to go down there and confirm it by putting a pressure gauge on the system and tell them if it's on the cold side or the hot side, if it's something that I can see or I can hear it, uh, I'll try to fix it. But I'm not going to go gopher hole in this guy's slab trying to find a leak under the slab. Uh, it's not my thing. Leak location uh he's gonna have to call somebody else in and and get that taken care of uh but if it's something small if he's got water running out of a backflow preventer up at the house uh, i can rebuild that or uh you know take care of leaks but i'm not searching for a leak under the slab uh so that's my day i'm gonna load up this water heater <clears throat> The guy, the last guy who called me, he's he's in that same area, and uh, he's. I told him he needs to give me a call by like ten thirty, eleven o'clock if he wants to do it after he discusses it with the wife, and um, you know. So, I'll have the heater on my truck. If he calls me, I can run down there and pop that in real quick before this monsoon comes. Uh, Anyways, I apologize for my eyes being closed. I feel like I'm in a fucking uh, prisoner of war video. Fucking trying to send messages with my eyes. Uh, it's not the case. I am not being held prisoner. Uh, against my will. But, um, anyways, uh, I'll see if I can get some footage of this Saturday which I normally don't work, but it's been quiet. My phone for my business, when I call it with my cell phone, my business shows up like it's from fucking Pakistan. And people are probably, it didn't really ring last week, and people are probably thinking it's some kind of a scam, you know? And just when they see that, they don't call. Uh, so I need to get that issue resolved. My, my other phone blew up yesterday morning. It was kind of a, kind of a terrible day, man. Whenever any of this shit goes down, the phones or computer stuff, it, it's just frustrating. It takes a lot of time and it just costs, time is money and it is just frustrating because I don't know shit about it. And so I'm at the mercy of these people. Um... Anyways, uh, I got through the broken phone thing. I got a new phone delivered last night, which was pretty cool. Verizon actually came to my house between 7 and 9 last night. The guy got here at like 5 minutes past 7. Delivered my phone, set it all up, put the SIM card in. 
and uh, was on his way within 20 minutes. And uh, that Assurian insurance is unbelievable, man. You know, when you look at the cost of a phone, uh, it cost me 125 bucks to get a new phone the same day. And uh, the guy actually fucking delivered it to my house within like four or five hours of me making the claim on the phone. So, uh, yeah, if, you're, if you've got cell phones, which I'm sure you do, uh, Assurian is a good deal. It's five, six bucks a month or something. And, uh, boy, they provide a good service. So, anyways, I'm going to get my shit together and get out of this house. Uh, Bella's sitting here looking at me like, what the fuck? He just sits there talking to himself. Uh, yeah. But I can do it now because it's a there's a camera in front of me. Uh, anyways, everybody, have a great Saturday. Uh, hope you're not working. And uh, see if I can get some sh footage uh, of me being a sarcastic asshole with my customers. Um, yeah, have a great day.